Hi, welcome to another episode of Mr. Marty. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm somewhat addicted to making these videos, and it's not... It's not vanity. I mean, look, I, I'm not anything to look at. Um, you know, uh, I have I have uh, my beauty issues, like uh, like like most of us, I think, unless we're um, on the cover of a GQ magazine or or something else like that. But um, I don't know. I guess I I guess I'm just I'm feeling really good, and this is my third video, uh, and. Um, you know, and, and and again, I guess I I just have so much to say, and I guess I I um I I I feel like the the time is is growing short. You know, the the sun is setting. You know, we've been using meta a metaphor. We've been plowing the field now for quite some time, and the sun is setting. And at some point, we're going to have to go home, and it's it's all going to be over. And um. And I think about that. I think about life, and and I think about you know our existence and and the ultimate um, the ultimate uh, uh, purpose and you know things of this nature. And um, you know and and here's the thing. I mean, I don't have all the answers. I don't even have a few of them. I just come on here and I kind of give my two cents and my insights and and whatnot and. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I got to thinking about, um, I got to thinking about uh, uh, Tolstoy yesterday. I had mentioned him in, in one of my videos, and, um, you know, you know, one of the things is, uh, 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 it's, it's one of these little-known facts about Tolstoy. Um, I had mentioned how he had. Um, he had uh, um, uh, went and uh, um, you know freed his serfs because he was trying to uh, he was trying to really live the Christian the Christian lifestyle and um, it, it's in, in one of his best books that he he ever wrote you know he's most famous for uh, war and peace by the way my bus just pulled up this is my uh, that, that's my uh, that's my bus I'm gonna ride. It's a 613, number 613 bus that doesn't leave until 7:30, so I got 15 minutes. But anyway, so so Tolstoy did that in real life. He he tried to, to free his serfs, uh, but they didn't trust him. They didn't they didn't uh, believe it. But in one of his novels, he kind of references this. Uh, the novel is called Resurrection, and I I highly recommend you read this novel. Um, and, and in the novel, a, a rich landowner uh, has illicit relations with a servant girl whom he impregnates. And then he leaves, goes off to uh, college, I think military service, and all of the Russian aristocrats did that in the mid-19th century. And the girl, because she has a child out of wedlock, is shamed and she's kicked out of the house she's kicked out of service she's uh, uh forced to live on the streets she has no money she becomes a prostitute and then she falls in with a, a criminal gang well um years later he gets called up to jury duty and he's now you know a few years older and and he's a, a well-established um aristocrat uh very rich property owner and he um he gets called to jury duty and it's a murder trial and there are four defendants one of them is a woman and he goes into court and he recognizes her as the servant girl that he had impregnated and so the the rest of the novel is basically how he tries to make it right that he spends his entire life making it right he 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 it's it's really the the book itself the novel resurrection by leo tolstoy it's a blistering indictment of both um the czar the the czarist system of mid-19th century russia as cruel as it was the court system but also the church which is why the 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 church the uh the orthodox church of russia excommunicated tolstoy because they didn't like the things he was saying about them because Tolstoy was saying, look, 
you guys claim to be Christians, but you're not exactly, you know, living the Christian life. You're not exactly, uh, you know, practicing Christian ideals. And so, and so, uh, so, so in the novel, which kind of mirrors what Tolstoy did in real life, this rich Russian landowner gives away all of his uh, money, gives away all of his land. He and in the trial, he 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 tries to spare her from a conviction, but he's he's unable to do it. The deck is stacked against her, and she's convicted of being an accessory to murder. And she's sent to a penal colony. She's sent to a labor camp in the far, far frozen reaches of Russia on a, um, an island, you know, about 11 time zones away from the, uh, the Moscow area. And so he sells all of his land, gives it to the poor, all of his money, and then he goes and follows her. He serves her. Um, because he wants to make it right. And I was thinking about that novel and I was thinking about the character in the novel and, and what Tolstoy was, was trying to tell us, um, in the novel. And, and, uh, and I was, and I was thinking about that and, and so, um, I, I just wanted to come on here and say to you, as I said in another previous video, that every day we get up, we have a chance to, uh, to uh, make things right and you know we're not perfect you know Tolstoy wasn't perfect um, he's, he certainly had a lot of flaws but he also had this desire to do what's right or as my LDS friends call choose the right I actually have a a choose the right ring and uh, I just want to urge you on this day I'm just feeling great and I'm glad that I have another opportunity to serve and do good and um, I just want to urge you do do good today. You have another you have another chance, like Tolstoy and like the the character in his novel Resurrection, who uh, who who has an opportunity to uh, to to make it right. It's funny I can't remember the character's name, but the 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 poor girl, the victim in the novel, her name was Maslova, and I've never forgotten her. I was actually going to write a play, and I was going to uh, I actually started the play. And I was going to name one of my characters in the play Maslova because I, I loved her, her character in the, in the book. So anyways, I want you to go out and have, make this an awesome day. And, uh, or make this, I might not get this uploaded till tomorrow. I've got to go into work here. So um, I want you to make this an awesome day and, uh, and use this to do good. Use this to do good, just like Tolstoy tried to do. Because he was trying to pattern his life after Jesus. So, um, anyways, another another episode of Mr. Marty right here at the Front Runner uh, Ogden Station getting ready to go to work. Take care, folks. Have an awesome, great day. Thank you. Bye.